Time once again for our weekly interview with Augustana head coach Garrett Ravoin. And first of all, let us celebrate this brand new, beautiful CCHA backdrop. We are breaking it in. It looks good to me. It looks good to both of us. So there's one thing that's looking good. Uh, we'll start on another positive note. I asked you about it during the game on Saturday. Uh, Chad Demers back on the bench for you a couple weeks after brain surgery. Obviously, uh, just amazing for him, amazing for you guys just to have him back in the fold. Yeah, and it's, uh, you know, the family's all back. And, and what a great boost for our guys, uh, our staff, and um, for somebody to go through what he's going through. And he missed 22 days. Uh, amazing. It, it, absolutely amazing. And it just speaks to, I mean, what courage. And uh, he's, he's just one heck of a guy, too. So we're uh, fired up to have him back. Absolutely. So let's get to the games. Uh, this past weekend, uh, it was a home-and-home -home series with Omaha. 2-1 to one loss in Baxter Arena on Friday. 5-2 to two loss in Sioux Falls on Saturday. Uh, you've kind of figured out through every weekend, they tell different stories. What was the ultimate, I guess, story of this past weekend? I think we just saw a group over there that was, you know, they controlled the play really through all six periods. And they did it by just being on top of us. They were strong with their sticks. Uh, they just closed time and space. And that's something that we've been preaching with our guys is to close time and space. Well, they felt what uh, that feels like, and, and we saw what it looked like from the bench and up close. And, uh, you know, as tough as it is to live through some of these lessons, uh, it, it's a great thing for us uh, and something we can really learn through. Let's uh, focus game by game starting on Friday down at Baxter Arena, 2-1 to one game. They score early, and then it was just kind of at a standstill till midway through the third period. You had mentioned how it was so hard to get them out of their system. It just seemed like both teams were kind of frustrated in that middle portion of the game. Yeah, and, and, and they had the puck on off a lot, and, and they did a great job of relieving pressure whenever we tried to get a four-check going, and they did it through just playing a, a system game. And uh, They're well coached. Uh, they're very committed to that style. Um, and they made it real hard on us, and they, they made us defend for long stretches. Uh, you know, they get the goal early, um, then they get another one. We bounce back to make it close, and, and we, you know, with the, with the goalie pulled, we had a look. Uh, we just didn't finish, and, and uh, you know, a really strong game by them. I actually liked us better on Saturday in a lot of areas of our game. Yeah, let's focus on Saturday back here in Sioux Falls. They get out to a quick 2-0 lead. You cut it to 2-1 in the second period. Uh, but that period was incredibly frenetic. A lot of penalties on both sides, a lot of four-on-four -four hockey. How would you describe from your vantage point those middle 20 minutes? Well, it's a, it's a period we've seen before. Um, now, I don't know if that is more the norm in college hockey uh, with penalties upon penalties, and, and I didn't love some of them. Uh, from our guys and uh, maybe how they were called, but it is what it is and, and um, it just makes it really hard to keep your rhythm. Um, we did, we got it within a goal there 2-1 and then we had, uh, they actually took a penalty and right in front of the net and then we evened it up four on four. Uh, they score following that and you just see like there's moments within a game um, that we got to stay controlled and manage our emotions and uh, we're not there yet, but hopefully soon. Yeah, obviously the, the physicality was off the charts in both Friday's and Saturday's game. I thought your guys gave great energy and great effort, but you had mentioned it before. You have a lot of experience, but not a lot of experience together. You're facing a team in Omaha. Their pairs have been together for two, three, four years. Yeah, and you could see it, and they're in, but, but they're just, like I said, they're four lines deep, and they all play the same way, and they don't deviate from that system. Um, which is impressive to watch as a coach. And, and uh, as I said after the game, I said, when you start getting in the top crust of college hockey, teams that are contending to make the NCAA tournament, that's what they look like. You can't make a mistake or they'll make you pay. Uh, and they don't give up a whole lot. So you can't get frustrated in it. You just got to wait for your moment. Um, and, and again, uh, real solid effort by them and, and uh, something for our guys to take uh, and learn from. Yeah, you mentioned a couple of weeks ago, especially after the series in Colorado against Denver and CC, that your players set an expectation for themselves and now they're trying to meet it. Obviously, I can assume they did not meet that expectation this weekend. So how did the players feel in the locker room afterwards? Uh, you could sense disappointment. And, and as, a, as a coach, you hurt for them because obviously they want the result and they're, they're wanting better. But uh, wanting, it's one thing. You have to go out there and work for it. And, and as we start our week of practice and preparation this week, I think that's just the message is, uh, are you going to be down or are you going to uh, put on the big boy boots and go to work? Absolutely. And you get another chance this upcoming weekend. You're back on the road for a two-game set at Northern Michigan. Another CCHA team. Your first look at what Northern Michigan brings. Yeah, and that's uh, and Grant Patalny's done a great job of recruiting there. Uh, probably looked at as one of the more talented teams in the CCHA. They can score. 
you know, they can put up some big numbers, and, and their offense uh, is, can be very opportunistic. They have a power play that's been lights out through stretches of the season. Um, and, and, again, another great challenge for us. We're going to be on the road again. Uh, our first time in Marquette, and our guys just got to be ready for it. And, and if we come with great energy and positivity, uh, it'll give ourselves a chance from the start.